There is growing worry tonight about a new strain of superbugs spreading through hospitals in New York and across the country. It's deathly dangerous and tough to fight, but trying to avoid becoming infected is proving just as difficult. Seven on your side, investigative reporter Jim Hoffer is here with the concerns about superbug secrecy. Jim? Well, Diana, it's not a threat to the general public, but to hospital patients and residents in nursing homes. Candida auris can be lethal. New York City is ground zero for the fungus, but health officials are keeping the public in the dark about which facilities are battling this superbug. In hospitals and nursing homes throughout New York City and its suburbs, a deadly drug-resistant fungus is spreading, threatening the lives of those with weakened immune systems. It's a very serious health threat because it's a superbug, meaning resistant to all known antibiotics. And that makes the superbug known as Candida auris lethal for those patients with existing medical problems, according to Dr. Erwin Redlener, Columbia University professor and an expert on public health crises. You don't want somebody visiting the hospital not knowing that it's around and, and somehow, uh, you know, contracted the infection. That would be a, a, an utter disaster. But hospitals, the Center for Disease Control, and New York City and state health departments have so far refuse to give Seven on Your Side investigates the names of the facilities where Candida Auris has caused serious illness and deaths. If they're rattled to the point where we have, you know, secrecy packs among hospitals and public health agencies, you're just hiding something that obviously needs more attention and more resources to try to deal with. The numbers underscore the growing health threat. Since first surfacing in 2016, Candida auris has stricken 613 people nationwide. More than half of those cases, 319, have occurred in hospitals and nursing homes in New York, mostly in and around the city. And here's what worries health officials. 179 New York patients died. That's a 56% mortality rate. Where are these infections occurring? Uh, these are serious, potentially life-threatening infections that in some cases are um, difficult, if not impossible, to treat. The director of Public Citizens Health Research Group says it is unethical to leave the public in the dark. They're more interested in protecting the hospitals, the institutions affected, than protecting the interests of the patients. And by protecting the hospital, what do you mean specifically? They may fear that it would harm their reputation, um, maybe harm their financial bo bottom line. The New York State Department of Health told us they have been, quote, working aggressively with impacted hospitals and nursing homes to implement infection control strategies for Candida auris. A spokesperson adding, we will include information on names of facilities in the annual infection reports when released later this year. To keep that a secret uh, is putting people in danger, and I don't think that's reasonable or ethical. Now, the state health department calls this fungus an opportunistic infection, meaning the vast majority of patients have had serious underlying medical conditions. Those patients infected, they must be isolated, and it requires nurses and doctors to wear protective gloves and gowns wow. to care for these patients.